If I don't have it there, I feel like, well, I'm a musician, I'm a composer. What the hell am I doing? You know, is there an opportunity for me there? Yes or no? That's the question. Do I, am I going to approach it with the wrong mindset or, or how, what am I going to lose, really? I don't have to pay anything up front. I don't have to pay to have my music there. So uh, it's just one of those things. I, I guess this is a, another philosophical video again. Uh, but, you know, I really want to share more and I want to share my, my journey and my experience. And It starts with the mindset. And let me explain further. There's a lot of argument uh, in the music licensing world in general that it's a very slow process, that the money is not enough. And this is true in the music industry as a whole when it comes down to streaming uh, services or if you have your music on uh, places like Spotify, especially lately, I've heard a lot of things about Spotify. I'm not involved with uh, Spotify uh, yet, just quite yet. I have my music only uh, for licensing and not for streaming services. I might do that in the future, but I, I always keep my eyes uh, when it comes down to, to anything that has to do with the music industry, uh, and especially online, in the online world, I, I keep my eyes and, and my ears open to see what's happening and how can I join uh, this industry in different ways and how can I monetize my music as well in different ways. Um, so it comes down to the mindset and if I see uh, music licensing or selling my music on royalty free libraries like Pond5 and Audio Jungle as something that is an opportunity or if it's something that is something bad for me or my music. It's no secret that uh, takings are really low when it comes down to royalties. Uh, and it depends on the license as well. I've shared many times uh, in the past before here on this channel of uh, how much I, I earn per tracks and how many, uh, depends on the licensing as well, depends on how you price your tracks in certain libraries. And it's, it comes down to, to see if you can see this as something that is a good thing for your music or if it's something that is a, uh, something positive for you as a composer or you can see it as something negative. And it depends on how you see the world. So if you think that this is uh, something negative for you, then that's exactly what it is. It's something that is not worth it. It's something that is not enough. And, um, and you're gonna experience just that, okay? And there's a lot of people that don't do it. There's a lot of people that are uh, really uh, in denial or they're really negative about this. And, and they ju they're just not willing to sell their music on royalty-free libraries. And hey, it's a free world. But, you know, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, it depends on how you see uh, the music industry. It depends on how you see uh, the opportunities that are out there for us. I'm not saying that I agree 100% with the takings. I'm not saying that it's a fair world out there. This comes as a no surprise. Uh, but if I put myself again in, in, in the shoes of, uh, of somebody that is new or somebody that wants to join this world of music licensing, then I will see it as a, an opportunity. For sure, because if I'm a composer and I don't have my music, for example, on, on streaming platforms, on Spotify, and I see how low it is uh, for, for the streamings, I say like, okay, yes, it, it's, it's definitely not fair, it's horrendous, and I know that I will need a, a big number of streams in order to monetize somehow my music, uh, but I, I, I will still see it from a different angle. And I will see it as an opportunity. Well, now I'm losing a lot because I don't have my music on Spotify on any streaming platform for that matter. So I feel in a way that I'm actually losing. I'm not, I don't feel that I'm, I'm losing uh, money per se. Let's not just talk about the money as, as, a, as a money thing. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, we wanna uh, get paid for our music, but I will see it more as an opportunity. I'm thinking about the long run, about the, how, will, how cool will it be for me to have my music on Spotify? I mean, when I think about it, just the notion of thinking about it, and as an artist, I'll say like, that, that would be cool, man, you know, that I can have my music uh, on Spotify and um, maybe it's not uh, stock music. Maybe it's something that I, I do like a, a side project as an artist and have it there. That gets me excited immediately. Now, if the streaming uh, uh, thing is, is very low, yeah, I know it's very low. Uh, but but I, I think I'm losing more by not doing it. Like now, for example, I'm not doing it. So I'm feeling like I'm... I'm losing on an opportunity. I don't know if that's relatable to, to my argument when it comes down to music licensing. I've shared yesterday my, my takings on, uh, yesterday's video, my takings on Envato Element for the last two months. Some people still think that it's uh, uh, very low. <laughs> and they are, but I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because I'm not doing anything. And I'm, I'm 70 uh, quid up. Actually, uh, today I checked again. 
to see the rate that is, is evolving and it's a little bit up. It's not much, but it's something. I'm not doing anything. But yet some people see this as something that is negative and you can choose not to, to do it. It's a free world. Like I said, you can participate or you don't participate. Uh, and, and that's why I'm giving the example of Spotify because I get a lot of people asking me about this. Uh, if you can sell your stock music and you can still have them on on, on Spotify or iTunes. And you know, there is a lot of uh, composers on Audio Jungle that do this. Uh, I, I don't do this at the very moment. I don't have the same music for licensing and, and on streaming platforms, but I, I'm always have this thing inside uh, that I want to have my music on Spotify just because Spotify is a place where people have their music. So if I don't have it there, I feel like, well, I'm a musician, I'm a composer. What the hell am I doing? You know? So it's the same thing with you. If you're a composer or you're an artist, and you could be doing different things. Uh, I just think that you're missing out if you're not really participating on, on a marketplace like Pwn5, for example. And, and that's my, old, my, my old argument. And it's the same with uh, streaming uh, platforms. It's the same with uh, subscription, now subscription, which is what I was talking about yesterday's video about Envato Elements. It's like, I'm not doing anything. I'm literally not doing much. I haven't composed music. I don't feel like I'm really being ripped off. I just feel that the platform is there before I wasn't participating and uh, I wasn't earning anything. So really, <laughs> nothing is happening. Now that I got uh, invited to join in, I join in, I just literally click some some things on on my uh, tracks, on my Audio Jungle profile, and they appear magically on um, Envato Elements, and I'm making money. So I'm really, in reality, I'm 80 quid up. Uh, and, and I can see the potential because this is for the long run, this, is, this will grow. Somebody told me from Envato Elements, somebody that is selling already on Envato Elements, that this uh, slowly starts to grow. Um, but, you know, it's all about the mindset. I do believe that it's all about the mindset. Uh, however you see it, it, that's exactly what you're going to get. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to expand, really. I'm really looking forward to grow as a composer, to grow as, a, as an artist as well and to write new music and yeah, to join the streaming platforms as well. I'm really looking forward to something that is new. Uh, and I see a lot of composers uh, or artists that are there as well. And, and yes, I'm sure they're nagging. I'm sure they're complaining about how low the, the streaming things are going. And lately Spotify has been on the news a lot online. I, I don't really know the details, but I know that it's getting worse. And uh, that's why we have to empower ourselves and say like, okay, what can we do? Okay, what can we do apart from from having our music on streaming platforms, how what can we do in order to to empower ourselves as well, and how can we uh, move forward in, in this age? And you know, music licensing is for sure one way to go, especially on royalty-free libraries like Pond Five and, and Audio Jungle, because it's a way of getting a revenue. You know, today uh, I'm I'm expanding uh, my catalog on VFI Music. I've been uploading some more tracks, and you know, it, it, it's. I see it like something that if I'm not actively uh, pursuing my, my, my goals and my dreams, which is just to put my music out there and make it uh, create some money for me. And as little as it is, even with like the little takings that I'm taking with Envato Elements, uh, this is just a, a, a small trip, but that will slowly uh, grow. And it's the same with We Find Music. I'm, I, I get some sales and I don't have much music there either. Uh, with a conversion with a Chinese a currency to, to euros, I lose a lot. There's a, there's a lot of taxes as well, or a lot of VAT. Um, but you know, it, it's, it's in the nature of business. You know, things are sometimes they're not like what it is. And with royalties in general, if they're really low, and whatever royalties, I don't care what royalties we're talking about here, they're really, really low. But you know, it's all about the license, how big the license is going to be, and how can we see this as an opportunity, and how can we see this about how can we. Uh, improve ourselves and, and get paid with our, our music. The same goes with YouTube. You'd be surprised how little you get when you put ads on your YouTube channel if you qualified to put ads on your YouTube channel. And I don't do YouTube videos because of the ads, but uh, it's a nice payment when you get it. You know, it's a nice thing to see Google sending me uh, uh, some, some money uh, for the videos. And when you see it, when you break it down, it's like, well, okay, <laughs> you need a lot of views to make some substantial, um, income with YouTube videos from from ads uh, but if if it, that wasn't there uh, you know I wouldn't be making that money you know and you can choose to not have the Google Ads if you wanted to but I don't think YouTube wants that because YouTube makes money uh, with a Google Ads so if you're a YouTuber you're not putting ads on your video actually is harming you as well 
So it's another argument, it's another conversation as well for you as a musician. If you are a musician and you can do a YouTube video, that will not only create more uh, brand awareness on your music and you as a composer, but as well, uh, it could be another source of income as well, uh, for sure. But again, it comes down to the mindset and what you bring to to the table. What do you think if it's worth it or not? You know, some people think that it's not, and and, and you know, it's uh, again, you they they feel like you're selling your soul for for nothing, or it's the race to the bottom, or whatever. It is what it is. And you can see it as the way you want to see it, but whatever you choose to see is exactly what you make up your mind to. So hopefully this video will make you see things in a different way. Hopefully I'm sharing as well my experience uh, as a composer for stock libraries and how can I expand my catalog and my, my horizons really. And I know that it has to do with the mindset. If I go through through this process of uh, joining libraries or to joining uh, Spotify, for example, if I go from uh, from the angle that that yes, it's a rip off. A lot of artists are really bad, especially independent artists like us. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not a famous guy, and I've seen a lot of argument as well that even famous people don't make a lot from streaming uh, platforms and from Spotify. They actually make money other ways uh, to supplement their income. Yeah. But nevertheless, you know, if I approach this like with that mentality that is a ripoff, that I'm only getting uh, robbed by Spotify with a streaming uh, fees or whatever they're paying me, then that's exactly what I'm going to get. But I, I still feel that I can I can see from a different angle. And I know this might sound a little bit naive or this might sound a little bit like I'm living in a in my own world and I, I just want like pennies for my music. But it's not really like that, you know. I do believe that you can make uh, enough money f f with your music if you're smart enough, uh, not only on streaming platforms, but as well beyond that as a, as a brand, as an artist. And me as a composer for stock libraries, I just feel that um, based on my own journey that I've been documenting here, uh, there is a, a lot out there. And there's yes, there's libraries that close down, but there's libraries that are open up all the time uh, offering us a lot of opportunities and these libraries will never exist if we weren't supplying the music as well so that's, that's another way to see it and um, I've been speaking with uh, library owners lately thanks to my YouTube channel that it has a little bit of reach <laughs> uh, more than before at least and uh, I've been speaking so I'm I'm getting my my foot in the door of, of the other side of what libraries are thinking of and i'll reveal more about this in the future but see how library owners are thinking and uh what are they in need more and what do they want as well how do they see the marketplace and uh they want the same thing as you they want you to sell they want you to sell they want you to upload the music and they want to make the sale as well because they only make money when you make a sale on a library like pond5 for example uh, it's free to join, but if you have your music on Pond5, if you're not selling, actually it costs more for them to have all that big catalog uh, and it's not going anywhere, okay? So it's an eye-opener when I start thinking in different ways uh, in conversations with, with, with people that are working in the, in the industry. And I'm thinking like, well, that makes a little bit of sense. I guess it's the same with YouTube. If you have a YouTube uh, video up there and nobody's watching it, it's just taking some space in some server and, and it's just that's that weight really so i have to think about that as well you know like okay that makes sense you know we have to create something of value and something that will sell and that both parties will benefit and it, at times it's not fair it, it's not fair at all but um are we gonna take part or are we just gonna not do anything about it and not earn any money and anyways end up doing something that we don't want to do you know meaning that you might work in a day job that is not paying you enough anyways and it's pretty much uh, the same thing it, it just might feel like you're you're not being paid for what you're worth you know and, and that is true in any industry i do believe that in order for us to excel or to go to the other side of uh, income potential uh, it has to start with a mindset for sure and what else can we provide how much more music can i make how much more can i upload to different libraries how much more can I grow as a composer and as a person? And how can I expand my horizons and, and the opportunities that are out there? How can I take part of them? So that's why I bring the Spotify example. 
uh, because I, I am not involved and, I'm, and I really feel like I want to join in and then I see all this negativity but at the same time it's like okay but uh, is there an opportunity for me there yes or no that's the question do I, am I gonna approach it with the wrong mindset or, or how, what am I gonna lose really I don't have to pay anything up front I don't have to pay to have my music there so uh, it's just one of those things I, I guess this is a, another philosophical video again uh, but you know I really want to share more and I want to share my, my journey and my experience and and not only with Envato Elements, but as well, if this happens in the near future of me selling my music on streaming platforms, maybe I can share that a little bit more about that here on this channel. Anyways, I hope this video finds you well. If you are somebody that is new to music licensing you know, to royalty free libraries, download my free guide, link in the description. And as always, thanks a lot for all the love and support. Rock and roll, and here's to your success.